Of all the water existing on Earth, only 2.5% is fresh water and 0.007% is non-polluted and safe to use. The amount of water is the same, but the demand is rising every day. Continuing down this road in 2050, it will surpass the existing resource by 40%. That is why we need water management. There are actions to be taken now on three different scales, personal, urban, and global. As individuals, we need to monitor our personal water consumption. That means not only taking care of the visible water consumptions, like reducing water wastage in prolonged showers, but also raising our knowledge in the hidden water footprint of everything that we consume, even the food that we eat. For example, 1300 liters of water is used to produce one kilogram of wheat, but for the same amount of beef, the required water is nearly 15,500 liters, almost 10 times. You see, we can reduce the load on the water management system just by changing our lifestyles. Scoping out to the urban scale, there is a need in upgrading the urban water management systems, implementing integrated urban water management systems to bring stormwater and cycle water back into the urban water cycle is the first and most important action. Using simple methods such as rainwater tanks, grey water systems, rain gardens and roof collective water. Some of them we can install easily at our homes. Moreover, it's important to solve inefficiencies in old infrastructure. Research shows that 30% of water is lost due to leakage in old infrastructure. Nowadays, the leaks can be pinpointed and repaired much cheaper and more efficient by using advanced sensors. Lastly, in the worst scale, we need to continue growing our capacity in water production on a global scale. There are some solutions to increase our water supply, such as water desalination plants. However, we need to know that these technologies are far too expensive for us to rely on and could only be a backup plan. So, to help save our planet, we need to act now.